what's up y'all welcome back to another dr davis video and so today i'm bringing you another player in my early 2000s series and this player is none other than the mac man tracy mcgrady now t mac is one of my all-time favorite players just the talent level was off the charts and so we're gonna make orlando magic t mac man it's gonna be interesting to see but I can't wait to try and do it. All right, so I'm going to put him at small forward. He played small forward in the early 2000s, even though he would be a shoot, considered a shooting guard. He was really a small forward at that time. He played with Vince. He was a small forward. He played small forward in Orlando for a little bit before he got moved to shooting guard, and then he became a shooting guard. So, of course, we got to go numero uno for young Tracy McGrady. We got to go 6-8. Got to go 6-8. Um, now, with T-Mac, you want to make sure he's able to get quick first step, Hall of Fame, okay? So your ball handle has to be at least an 89. So his ball handle is going to be an 89, okay? Now you see if we, we finesse the wingspan, that doesn't change at all, all right? So we're going to put him, let's go 7-2 wingspan, and you'll see why in a second. We're going to put him in slight very slight very slight body type all right with t-mac it's impossible to make t-mac in this game impossible because he could do everything but i'm gonna bring you what i think t-mac could do the best in my opinion and that was score 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 so of course we gotta go driving down gotta go driving down hall of fame posterizer t-mac was a demon okay a demon all right i want to make sure his layup goes to 80. that's all we're going to touch right now for finishing the next thing is shooting okay midi king we're going to make sure that midi is at 86 so he can get midi magician and guard up and then we're going to put his three at like an 80 and i think that's good all right now this is one of T Mac's most underrated abilities, which was the ability to play back. Okay, so like I said, we want the 89 here. And then we're gonna raise up the pass accuracy. 75 is doable. He was a better passer than that, but 75 is doable. Okay, and then we're gonna put speed with ball. That way we can have a little defense here. We'll put that at like 75. We can add a little interior. We'll put that at about 70 as well. Um, like I said, it's impossible to make T-Mac on this game, but I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got. I'll give him a 70 rebound. Um, and we haven't even touched the bird. Yeah, that's a cardinal sin that I have, guys. Make sure that you guys touch the verticals first. Um, and then I'll give him my, I'll give him 85 because he's going to be handling the ball. Um, 86 mid range, so you can have guard up magician. So then, like I said, so you got 15, 23, 20, and 11. Um, defensively, like I said, he's an okay defensive field, but offensively, man, he was a juggernaut. Okay, juggernaut. All right, all right, now. T-Mac, you have your choice to go with whatever. My mind, he's a slasher first, shot creator second, in my mind. Um, so I would give him um, advanced finishing moves when he gets to the rim, the euro steps, the dunk, all of that. I would give that second. I'm giving him pull up precision. T-Mac was so smooth with the pull up. You know, he'll do his little one arm, take one dribble, pull up, smooth as butter. That's why I love that dude, man. I love that guy. In my opinion, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. But I think he was better than Kobe, talent-wise. Now, Kobe outworked him, did all that. But as far as just talent, man, T-Mac had He had everything Kobe had, and he was taller. Kobe said it himself in an interview. So... You have built a shot creator. Perfect, perfect, perfect T-Mac build. All right, so we're going to test him. I'm going to pull out the badges for you guys. We're going to put him all the way at 99. 
All right, now T Mac. Okay, so we gotta get to posterizer. We have to. We gotta get to posterizer. So you see, posterizer costs seven points. Now, in this game, you have two opportunities to earn more badges. The first one is you can play the My Career Quest, and they're gonna give you four extra badges that you can add to finishing. The next one is season. So at the end of every season, if you get to level 39, I believe, you get one extra badge point. Okay, you can add those to these builds because there's no way to make them with the badges that we're able to make from the builder. All right, so you're just gonna have to pretend with me and I'm gonna kind of walk you through it um, in order to get here. So the first one is, of course, here. Okay, you gotta go Fearless Finisher for T Mac. Disgusting guy, man. Sick. He was sick. Back down, he used to back down, fade away in the post. Acrobat, of course. Um, he was 6'8, so I don't want to go Giant Slayer, but I'll go Giant Slayer. Um, and then I'll also go Aerial Wizard. I don't know, never mind, I won't go Aerial Wizard. I think that's just for oops. So I will go uh, Rise. And then this is what I need to get here. Because you want to have this. You want to have this, and you want to have this. So the way that I would go with an extra badge, so I still need one. I only have nine equipped. Okay, so let's just put one. It doesn't matter. This is how you get to tier three. Um, so this is what I would do. For T-Mac, I'm doing posterizer for sure. Um, so what I would do is you would take Limitless Takeoff or Slithery. Either one of those, you are going to core. Now, if you want to core either one of those at Hall of Fame, you can. You just have to make sure you have eight points. Then it comes down to choose what you want to do. For me, posterizer has to be on there. Has to be on there. So I would core sloppy traffic. Man. See, this is hard. But you need to have posterizer, and I wish you could have slithery and limitless, but you can't. This is why they're in tier three. That's why it makes it hard. So I would core slithery or limitless takeoff, but just make sure you have posterizer for T Mac because you gotta have it because he was a dog. All right, then we go to shooting. Mini Magician, Hall of Fame, has to be. Space Creator, I say gold. Space Creator. Of course, he was a volume shooter. We know he was a clutch shooter, but you don't need it on anything higher than silver, not for a clutch shooter. And then guard up five points. Okay, so now we can get to tier three. And you have limitless. Um, he, he didn't have much range, but he could he could knock down a three. Um, then you have dead eye, uh, catch and shoot, and blinder. So I would go dead eye if you really want to make uh, the T Mac. Um, and then I would go, yeah, and then I core blinders, yeah, and then I core blinders for sure for team Mac. And like I said, man, then we come to playmaking, so T Mac, he could dribble. T-Mac could definitely dribble. He could definitely pass the ball. I'm going to give him post playmaker because I, when he used to post up, it was crazy. Like I said, you got to have mini magician and post playmaker because um, he did play in the post a lot. And he did very effective. Remember, this is 2000s basketball. It wasn't a lot of threes being put up, especially not as much as now. So it was a lot more posting up. Okay. Quick first step. Hoff. Got to give him Hoff quick first step. Um, and then we'll go to Clint Baker, handles for days, are unpluckable. So I would go Clint Breaker, core. And then I would give him unpluckable, silver. And then that would give you two more. So I would say hyperdrive. And then that would be it for Team Max Playmaking Badges. And then we'll go to defense, you know. So we'll go. You're not going to get clamps on T-Mac. 
Um, so I would go ankle braces so you not get broken. Um, I would go menace. Um, I would go workhorse. Um, I would go chase down. And that give you one more badge. You can put it on anything else from there. And then that's what it'll look like um, to create T-Mac. Like I said, we all know T-Mac was a way better player than what this builder can give us, but that's the most true to life T-Mac build that I can think of. And so if you like the video, please share, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, I'm gonna be bringing you more builds, like I said, from those 2000s players. But as far as that goes, man, thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed one. Be safe.